Hey everyone, so in my series of making videos on the Echo Show 5, started off with the unboxing, then I went over the settings, then I went over the features. In this video, I'm gonna cover the web browsing capability of the Echo Show 5. In this video, we're gonna talk about the web browsers that's built into the Echo Show 5. To get to them, you wanna scroll down from the top. And then you want to go into settings. Then you want to scroll down till you see device options. Once you get to device option, you want to scroll down till you see web options. Once you get to web option, you have two choices. You got browser and then you got web videos. In web videos, the only thing you have is clear cache and clear cookies. In your browsers, you got two browsers you can choose from. You got Silk and Firefox. Let's look at what the Firefox settings have to offer. So we're gonna go into the settings, and right now we're looking at send data usage. That's on. For me, I'm gonna turn mine off. And then the only thing it has left on the list is about privacy notes and clear cookie and site data. You don't have much option right there to choose from as far as the Firefox browser. Now let's see what Amazon Silk browser has to offer as far as in settings. So in the Silk browser settings, we have web scaling, passwords, privacy, accessibility, and advanced. So we're gonna start at the top and see what that has to offer. Now the web scaling option says it makes the web pages easier to read and touch by increasing the size of the text and buttons on the page. So you have a couple options you can choose from. You can turn it off. I got mine set to large, which is the recommended settings. You got larger and then you got largest. So I'm gonna leave mine on the recommended settings. Let's go back to the passwords. So in passwords, you have the option to save your password when you go to certain sites. I'm gonna turn mine off because I don't want my password to be saved because it's too easy to get into the Echo Show 5. There's no password lock or anything like that. So other people can come behind me and actually go into the sites that I save the password and that's too easy for them to access my stuff that I don't want to be accessed without my password. So I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna go back. And the next one is privacy. So on the privacy, you got safe browsing. This will protect you from certain dangerous sites that try to do phishing and malware and all the other stuff they try to do online. And then you got do not track. Mine is off right now, but I'm gonna turn mine on because I don't like to be tracked when I'm on the internet and then you can clear the browser. So let's go back after that and we have accessibility. In accessibility, we have the option to do text scaling. So we can adjust the size of the text by just scaling it up and down, depending on how you like it. And then you have the uh, option to force enable Zoom that overwrites the website request to prevent zooming in. So those are the options you got available on the accessibility. And then when you go into advanced, Right here, you can choose your search engine. I chose Google as my search engine option, but you have the option to choose Bing, Yahoo, or DuckDuckGo. So I'm gonna leave mine on Google. And then you got site settings. So in site settings, you got the first option says all sites. This looked more to me like a bookmark because it only has one site in there right now, but I guess whenever I bookmark sites, it goes into all sites. Then you got cookies. You can allow the cookies, or you can disallow the cookies. You might wanna leave that on because some sites require cookie to be on in order for them to work. Same thing with JavaScript. Next on the list is the pop-up and redirects. So right now I have those two block. So redirects are some sites that try to send you to another site that looks like the original site that you went to and you don't want that to happen. And you already know what pop-ups are so I don't have to explain that one. So you go into media, you can protect your content or you can do autoplay because some sites where you know you go to and they autoplay videos and stuff like that you can turn that on and off and then you got sounds now on the sounds you can allow sites to play the sounds which is recommended but you have the option to turn that on and off if you don't want that and the last on the list of these options is storage and in storage it says you have no save web settings so if you have any web settings, this is where it's stored and you can have access to it. So that was all the site settings inside the advanced option. 
and then the last one is the about so you can go to and read all that stuff if you want to now let's exit the silk browser settings so right now you only got two browsers to choose from you got the silk and the firefox as you can see the silk browser has more options built into it versus the firefox so to start off i'm gonna go with the silk browser so let's go back all the way out okay so now that you got all those settings enabled into your browser and you're ready to browse the web how do you get to the browser because amazon has not enabled a way to easy access the browser because if you swipe down there's no settings in there to let you get to the browser you got settings do not disturb brightness and home and if you swipe from the right the only thing you have access to is communication smart home music videos routines and alarm and there's nothing to swipe up on and there's nothing to swipe from the left from so there's no way to access the browser just by clicking on anything so the best way i get to it is to say open up the silk app here is silk and once i ask her to do that as you can see she opened up the silk browser app so from the home page you got your bookmarks which represent youtube facebook amazon and your settings the same settings that you'll get to if you go to the setting option on the device. So even though they don't have the actual YouTube app, as I can see on this device, you can still get to those videos by going to the Silk browser and clicking on that bookmark. Then once you get to the channel or whatever video you're looking for, you can just start strolling down, find whatever you need and click on it and start watching it. Hey everyone, hope all is well. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all the features that's built into your Echo Show 5. So there you have it. That's the Silk browser. That's how you get to it. Now you can go to any website by doing a search. You just type it in on the keyboard. But if you look in the middle, there's a microphone. So all you have to do is click on that and say what you want to search for. Amazon. And there you go. It actually does the search for you. There's Amazon website. You can click on it and go straight there and stroll down and find things and buy things straight from your uh, Echo device. So that's how you get around on the Silk browser. Now let's try to see if she can open Firefox. Open the Firefox app. Here's Firefox. So there you go. You can choose to open the Silk browser or the Firefox. Right now I have Silk browser as my default so if I ask her to open any web pages, she's going to automatically open it in Silk. But from those two browsers, you know, they're probably going to act a little bit different. Firefox and Silk is going to perform differently. So you can choose whichever way. But it doesn't matter which browser you choose to serve the web on. You still have full access as far as the keyboard. Amazon.com. And you see, it takes me to Amazon also. So... The search works universal because it works through the keyboard, which is a system keyboard and not a browser keyboard. So I can use voice or touch to navigate through those browsers. There you have it. Those are the browsers I wanted to talk about in this video and show you that you have that option to browse the web on the smaller screen if you really wanted to. Okay, so I haven't found a way how to get straight to a website outside the browser. I can't tell her, for instance, to go straight to Amazon.com from this screen right here. I have to be inside the app in order to do that. And then when I get to the app, I'd have to hit the keyboard so she can enter that in to the web search or the web address bar to go to that website. Go to Amazon.com. I found a few matches for that. Do you mean Amazon Storytime? Go to Amazon.com. I found a few matches for that. Did you mean Amazon Storytime? Cancel. All right. Go to Amazon website on the Silk browser. Hmm, I have a few skills that can help. Did you mean Amazon Storytime? Cancel. So as you can see, I can't go directly to a website from being outside the Silk or the Firefox app, which hopefully Amazon will fix later on because I should be able to tell her to go to a particular website and then she understand what I'm talking about and open up my default browser, which is the Silk browser, and open up that web page. So let's see if Amazon is going to fix that in future updates. But for now, you have to open up the app before you want to go to our web page. But don't expect a great experience because the screen is small, 
Look at it as something that you would do on your phone, which you probably get a better experience on your phone anyway, because you can change if you want it horizontal or vertical. This is strictly horizontal. Okay, so as you can see, if you really want to browse the web on your Echo Show 5, it is capable of doing that. I personally am not gonna do it too often because you know it's good in a pinch, but if I have my phone handy, that's how I'm gonna search the web. If not, I'm using my tablet, my laptop, or my computer. But at least you have the capability to do it on the Echo Show 5 if you really wanted to. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you haven't seen the other videos yet, go ahead and check them out. If you haven't seen those other videos I've made on the Echo Show 5, go ahead and check them out. And you can watch them in one playlist called the Echo Show 5. I wanna thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.